Welcome to technical drawing. Today we are going to learn this sum in oblique view. Now if you see this sum, they have given circular view in side view. So generally, we deal with circular sum in front view only. We don't have circular sum in side view according to ICC portion. So what we need to do, we need to interchange this. In the sense, we need to make front view side view and side view as front view. So remember one thing, this is front view, this is right hand side view and in right hand side view there is a circle. So what we will do, we will interchange this. We can do this, we can make this as front view and now this will become left hand side view. Right? So this we can do. Why we are doing this? An origin will be here. Always remember in first angle origin will be always on the extreme left or extreme right so first we will take length which is 40 and height is 60 so always remember it is a general practice whenever you have a circle view in side view so that view will become front view and then we need to start So we'll draw front view layout 40 by 60 and we'll draw 45 degree from here. See origin is here. How much is the width? Width is 50. So you mark 50 over here. and we'll complete the box. See this is 40, 60, 50. Now if you see there are two surfaces and in side view there is only one surface. So we'll start with side view. How much is this? 25. So take 25. Then you go down by 60. Then it is 15. From here also it is 15, then height is 40, so basically we are trying to draw ditto same, right? But it is on inclined surface. Now this height is 15. Now what we will do, we will take all the points by 40 because whatever, see this part is there in front view. So I need to take 40, 40, so I will get the part which is there in front view. Then I will take this point also inside by 40, this point also inside by 40. See the basic idea is what, whatever you have drawn on the side view, like on the side surface, the same thing is on the other side also. See this part is here also. So that you should keep in mind. Now this circle and this circle see this it is half half on both the sides so when you take midpoint so you take radius 10 from here you draw radius 10 
then you take all those all these points behind by 25 25 and from this point also you go behind by 25 and from there also you draw semicircle because if you see in front view you see full circle but if you see there is a dark line at the diameter so that means this circle is divided into two parts see this half circle here half circle behind So now we are done with this sum. Now what we can do, we can show axis line. Wherever we have a circle, we can draw axis line. And we can do dimensioning. And we need to write 45 degree. See this, this. Always remember to interchange this whenever you have a such kind of sums. Thank you.